you at home can hear us as we welcome this Shabbat morning. I am so honored and glad that we have Taran Weber here this morning to help us be led in beautiful music. We begin with words of Asa Einai, of lifting our eyes up to the mountain. And do you want to share a little bit why you chose yeah. that, Taran? I just returned last night from an epic trip to Banff National Park in the Canadian Rockies. And so I've just been dreaming of these peaks since I've left and it's going to be hard. I mean, it just it can't really compare, even though we have amazing mountains here. There's nothing like those jagged peaks. And so I wanted to keep riding that high of the mountain experience on this opening song. So Page please join 70 me. is where you can find the words to join with Taran. <clears throat> Esa Enai. Esa Enai El Harim Me'ayin Me'ayin Yavu Esri Esa Enai El Harim Me'ayin Me'ayin Yavu Esri Esri Me'in Adonai Ose Shamaim Ba'aretz Esri Me'in Adonai Ose Shamaim Ba'aretz Esa Enai Our eyes turn to the mountains. From where will our help come? We have a beautiful day ahead of us with sunshine and a beautiful Shabbat ahead of us this morning as we worship together. I'm Rabbi Dana Benson. I'm joined by the incomparable Taran Weber. And we also have Jamie and Molly helping us back there on tech. Thank you so much, Jamie and Molly, for that. And I'm going to invite everybody, if you will, um, just to turn around to this camera right here because we see our friends here, but they can only see us if we turn there. So hi, Shabbat Shalom. It's amazing to have you all joining us on Zoom. Hello. <laughs> I love it. And we'll have some participation from our Zoom friends as well. We continue our service. Oh, before, before I get into the continuing of the service, we're going to be hearing from the beginning of Deuteronomy today. So for those of you who would like to get uh, your booklets of the Torah ready early, we can do that. I'm going to give you the page numbers, so especially if you're at home. Um, and I thank Jamie and Molly for dropping a link into the chat for those of you on Zoom, uh, so you can find these verses on Safari. If you're going to be following along in the classic plout, which just says the Torah on the front and nothing else, that is the classic plout, we'll be reading on page 1312 when we get there. And if you're reading in the new plout, which has the Torah and other things on the front of it, we'll be on page 1161. So we'll come back to that in quite a bit, in a little bit, uh, as we return to Torah later. But just wanted to get everybody started with that. And so now we continue with words of blessing, how good it is <coughs> to be dwelling together in this place on Shabbat morning. Ma tovu ohalecha Yaakov. Join with us, <coughs> page 74. Ma tovu, ma tovu, Israel, Matovu, Matovu, O Halehayako, Mishkeno Teha Israel, Mani Bero Pasteha, Abo Veteha, Eshta. Call me. 
Mishkan Gevodecham, Va Ani Eshtachave, Ve Echraam, Evrechalim Neanonai, O Si, Mato, Adonai et ratzon, Elohim berov chastecha, Elohim berov chastecha, Aneni be'emet yishecha. Thank you so much, Taran, for helping warm our spirits. We continue on page 76 with our blessing for our bodies. And I want to take a moment to acknowledge that this blessing is one that can be tricky in a lot of different ways. All of us at some point in our lives will experience a journey with our bodies that is a new one. One in which our bodies change, one in which our bodies don't work the way we expected them to. And part of this blessing is not to think that our bodies, each and every single one, is perfect, but rather, actually, to appreciate the things that each of our bodies can be, uniquely, specially. And so we take in this blessing and think about one thing. Maybe it's something you've been struggling with. Take a deep breath in and maybe feel where there's tension in your body today. What is the part of your body that you need to show extra gratitude and love to this morning as we say our blessing for the body? Join with me on page 76. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Yatsar et Ha'adam Bechokma Uvaravo Nekavim Nekavim Halulim Halulim Galui Veadua Lifne Hise Hevodecha Sheimi Pateach Echad Mehem O Yisatem Echad Mehem I Efshar Lehit Kayem Vela Amod Lefan Necha Baruch Ata Aronai Page 78. Elohai, 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 Neshama, Shenatata bi tehorahi, Ataverata, Atayet sarta, Atanefachta bi, Beata Neshamera. Misham Rabbe Kirbi Elohai Elohai Neshama Shenatata Bi Tehorahi Baruch Ata Aronai Asher Beado Nefesh Kolchai The Ruach we turn to page 80, our jump start on our many blessings we are supposed to say each day, our very, very Jewish gratitude practice of starting each morning. It's my honor to invite up Connie Rock, who's going to lead us, um, and thank you so much, Jamie and Molly, for helping uh, put the non-binary version up on the screen. You got it? Sorry, go ahead. Got it. <clears throat> so that we can follow along. 
Thank you, Rabbi Dana. Bruche ate havaya, shekinu ruach haolam, asher natne lesek vivina, lehachvin ben yomu ven laila. Bruche ate havaya, shekinu ruach haolam, pokehe ivrim. Bruche ate havaya, shechinu ruach haolam, zo kefe kefufim. Bruche ate havaya, shechinu ruach haolam, roka aharetz al hamayim. Bruche ate havaya, Shechinu ruach haolam hamechine mitzadeg aver. Bruche ate chavaya. Shechinu ruach haolam melbishe arumim. Bruche ate chavaya. Shechinu ruach haolam Hanotene le ayef koak. Bruche ate havaya. Shekinu ruak haolam. Hama avire shena me enai. Utnuma me afapae. Bruche ate havaya. Shekinu ruach haolam, shastani betselem elohim. Bruche ate havaya, shekinu ruach haolam, shastani bet korin. Bruche ate havaya, shekinu ruach haolam, Shastani Yisrael, Bruche ate chavaya, Shechinu ruach haolam, Ozere Yisrael bigburaha, Bruche ate chavaya, Shechinu ruach haolam, Otere Yisrael bitifara. Bruche ate chavaya, shechinu ruach haolam, who gave us this beautiful blessing. Thank you. We continue with the blessing over Torah, which can be found on the following page, page 85. Baruch. Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kidshanu B'Mitzvotav B'Tzivanu La'asok B'Divrei Torah And I'm going to have us read a text on page 91 as our text of study this morning. I find by experience, not by reasoning, but by my own discovery that God is near me and I could be near God at all times. I can't explain it, but I am as sure of my experience as I am of the fact that I live and love. I cannot explain how I have come to live and love, but I know I do. In the same way, I know I'm always in contact with the divine. The divine can mean many different things to us. For some of us, it's a concept that is foreign and far away. For others, it's something near and close and tangible in a certain way. But the reality is, is when we speak of this divine, we're referring to something greater than ourselves, whatever we may think that is. Community. Relationship to the planet. Relationship to the past. Future. To different generations. Whatever it is that you need to connect to on this day, so that you feel grounded amidst this world, that's what we're referring to as the divine. Whatever helps you connect to a sense of place on this Shabbat. We continue with Psuke de Zimra, 
we are going to go to page 100 and have our wonderful Psalm 150. Taryn, take it away. Which one are you going to do for us this the morning? The Sufi version. <clears throat> Sufi chant. Beautiful. Hallelujah, 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 Six, the Hatsi Beat for Arvit Roman Viet Nasse, Beat Hadar, Beat Hale, Beat Hala, Shmir Kurshabari, who the Hailam in Kober Hata Vishirata, Tush Behata Venechemata, Dam Bimara, Bimaru. Amen. Please rise and body your spirits for the. Barhu are called to worship page 108. <laughs> to invite up Theo, who's going to lead us in a version of the Yotzer or our prayer for morning light on page 111, I'm guessing, since we're going to do English. Is that all right, Theo? Yeah? No worries. <laughs> Too much pressure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can use... This one, if that's okay with you. Yeah. Looks like we gotta move it to the right page. There, there we go. go. I still don't know which one I'm going to do. Go. Rock, paper, scissors for it? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second. 
didn't realize I had choices. I can just pick any of them. Yeah. Okay, cool. Either one. You are praised who rolls out the rough, raw clay of the universe into delicate vessels of light. And from nothing at all, we could perceive in a world that has turned old, a shimmering new creation right before her eyes, made this moment just for us. How much of life reveals your presence? How much Torah unfolds from each new flower, from each new wave that breaks upon the sea? You are praised who forms from the clay that cloaks our lives, the delicate vessels which contain our light. Beautiful. Baruch Ata Adonai, Yotzer HaMe'orot. Thank you so much, Theo, for leading us in that. And I'll draw your attention to the quote from Nachman of Breslau that's just below. I know a few weeks ago I mentioned one of my favorite parts about this Yotzer Or prayer is that it talks about renewing each day the acts of creation in whole. So Nachman writes beautifully of this. The architect of the universe creates anew each day. Therefore, each day is an utterly new creation. Take as much as you can from whatever this day has to offer. We continue with words of love, Ahava Rabba, page 112. Ahava Rabba, Tanu, Adonai Eloheinu, Chemla Gedola Vitera, Chamalta Aleinu. Ba'afuravotenu Ve'himotenu Shevat hu v'cha Shevat hu v'cha Avotenu ve'imotenu Vat menchu k'chaim Ken t'chanenu t'lamdenu I realized we were about to crash.
ישראל באהבה. Close your eyes just for a moment if you'll indulge me. And take a deep, intentional breath. Feel the air as it fills up in your lungs. Feel how it's just ever so slightly warmer as it leaves your body than the coolness it has when it first entered. We're told to listen as we say the words of the Shema. What are we listening for? What does it mean to hear others breathing around you? What does it mean to center within your own breath? The moment we have right now together in this space is eternal. We're connected by our presence here. It's all that's required of us right now to breathe, to be present, to be here with each other. With one more breath, we ready our bodies and our minds and our spirits for the words of Shema. If it's your custom to rise, I invite you to do so. If it's your custom to be seated, I invite you to do so. Whatever your custom, the words of Shema bring us together on page 34 and 35. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema to invite Connie back up to lead us in the words of Ve'ahavta. And I apologize for my fumbling on the page. I was in the evening service in my mind, but 34, 35, we're actually going to be continuing on page 116. Uh, I think you probably figured it out since you've been following along, but apologies for that. Thank you so much, Connie, for leading us. Thank you, Rabbi Dana. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha behol avavka uv kol nafshecha uv kol meodecha ve'hayu hadavarim ha'ele 
Asher Enokim etzavka Hayom alavaveka Veshinon tam lavaneka Vedibar tabam Bevshitekha bevektekha Vevdektekha vaderek Uvshok vecha uvkumeka Upchartam leot al yadekha Ve hayu la tota fot beneneka Uk tav tam al mezuzot betecha Uvi sharecha Le mahan tiskaru Ve asitem et kol mitzvotai Vi heitem kedoshim lelochechem Ani Adonai Elohechem Asher hotzeti et hem me eretz mitzrayim Liyot lachem Elohim Ani Adonai Elohechem Adonai Elohechem and that Yashar Koach Kani Thank you again for leading us in that and now we get the benefit of having Charin and surround sound as we join with our virtual musicians and our live Charin. Um, as we sing the words of Micha Mocha together, we can find those words on page 122. Let's join together. and surround sound at more services. That is a beautiful thing to have. <laughs> and now it's my honor and pleasure to invite up Jan, who's going to be leading us in the Amidah. It's just wonderful. Thank you again to all of you who are participating in services this morning in the variety of ways. If you'd like to participate in services, let myself know, uh, or Diana Bremen, who's not here because she has her own simcha this weekend. Uh, but it is a wonderful honor and pleasure to have Jan leading us We'll begin on page 124 and follow along with the even-numbered pages following. I invite you to rise in body or spirit as we enter into that central prayer. The tefillah, the Amidah. Adonai sepatai tiftah ufiya gitahilatecha. Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Oh, I'm going to go a little, a little higher. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu velohe avotenu v'imotenu. Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzhak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Leah, Elohe Leah. El Hagadol Hagibor Vahano Ra El El Yahon Gomel Hasadim Tovim 
Vikarne Hakov Zocher Haste Avot, the Imahot, who may be Gila leave Nave and Ahem, the Maan Shema Hope Ahaba, Melachoser Mushiachum again, Baruchata Donai, Makin Abraham, the first at Sarah, Atagi Borle Lamadarne. Mechaye ha kola ta rab lehoshia, mo read ha tal. Mechal ke chayim bechesed, mechaye ha kol berachamim rabim. So mech noflim beroche holim, umati rasurim, umekaye hem emunato. Lishenea <laughs> Together on page 130. Mikade Shech Chimcha Ba Olam Keshem Shem Makti Shimo Tobish Me Marom Kakatu Vayad Nivyecha Vikarav Zezebe Amar Kadosh 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 Adonai Tsevaot Melo kol haaretz kevodo adir adir enu adonai adon enu matir shimcha ba kol haaretz paru kevod adonai mim komo bechadu eloheinu. Who have been who make nu, who moshi enu, who yashmi enu, Barahamavle ne kohai, Ani Adonai Elohechem, Yim loch Adonai Leolam, Elohai Yixion. The door of our door, hallelujah. The door of our door, Nagi God lecha, will netzach netachim kedushacha nakdish, v'shivchacha Eloheinu mipinu lo yamush le'olam v'oed. Aruch ata Adonai. Please turn to page 134 for the Eloheinu. Eloheinu Kahat shenu be mitzvotecha, be ten kelkenu be toratecha, sahabenu me tuvecha, be samchenu be shuatecha, be taherli benu, le avtecha be emet.
with the words of our own hearts, the meditations of our hearts, or we can continue on the pages before us. In a few moments, we'll join back together on page 142. Whenever you've completed your prayers, feel free to take a seat. We'll join together at the bottom of page 142 for the Oh Say Shalom. Oh Say Shalom Bim Roma. Huya Say Shalom Aleinu. Ve'al Kol Yisrael. Ve'imru. Yase shalom, yase shalom, shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael. Yase shalom, yase shalom, shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael. Yase shalom, yase shalom. Shalom Aleinu Ve'alko Yisrael Yase Shalom Yase Shalom Shalom Aleinu Ve'alko Yisrael Oh say Shalom Bim Roma Hu Yase Shalom Aleinu Ve'alko Yisrael, ve'imru, ve'imru, amen. Much, Jan, for leading us so beautifully in our Amidah. It's time for our Torah service. I'm going to invite Ben up to come help us with the Torah. We're going to have our wonderful audio from our choir, I guess supported also by Tard, but... Um, <laughs> I invite you to please rise and body your spirit as we have the Torah enter into our midst. In Kamocha Elohim Adonai Malchutcha, malchut kol olamim, umem shaltecha, bechol dor vador.
Adonai Eloheinu Vishtachavu Ve'hakocho Romenu Adonai Eloheinu Vishtachavu Ve'hakocho Ki, 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 Adonai Eloheinu Romenu You may be seated. My friends, if you heard my Devar Torah last night, you already know we're entering into the book of Devarim. We're entering into the book of Deuteronomy, our last book in the Torah reading which for all of the rabbinic types out there or those who help with the high holidays means that we're getting really close to the high holy days. We're about two months out, but who's counting? Who's counting? But I'll be reading for us from these first words of the books, book of Deuteronomy today as Moses goes before the people to try to give them context for everything that's happened over all these years in the desert, over all these stories. We've had everything being told to us from a kind of third-person perspective throughout, and now we actually get to hear Moses give his own take, his own reflection on what's happened. It's my honor that Jan is going to be offering the uh, Aliyah this morning. Remind me of your Hebrew name, Jan. Ta'amol Yosefina bat chaim ve'goldi le'aliyah rishona. If you want to follow along, as I mentioned before, we can find the commentary uh, or the in the Plout commentary. You can follow along on page 1,312 if you're in the classic one that just says the Torah on the front. If you are following along in the newer Plout, which has more than just the words the Torah on the front, it looks a little bit like this one. Whoops, it's okay. It survived more than that in the past, let's be real. So the Torah, you'll be able to follow along. Mwah, 1161, 1161. At least it wasn't this Torah. <laughs> thank you, thank you, little levity. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Leolam Vaed. Amen. Ele ha devarim, asher diver Moshe el kol Yisrael, be ever hayarden bamidbar be arava. Bol suf, ben paran u ben tofel, ve lavan ve chatserot ve dizahav. Echad asar yom mechorev derech har seir ad kodesh ben rana'ah. Vayehi ve arvayim shana'ah. Beash te asar chodesh beachad la chodesh Diver Moshe el b'nei Yisrael Kechol asher la bechol Asher tziva Adonai Otpo alehem 
It's all good. The blessings are very similar. And for all of you B'nai Mitzvah types or coming up types out there, I hope this was a good demonstration and model that it's okay to make mistakes, both in the blessing and the Torah reading, all around. It's prayer. It's human. It's beautiful. Thank you so much, Jan, for leading us and chanting so beautifully in the Torah reading. No, no, no. It is perfect. I'll offer you a little quick English translation of what we just read. These are the words, words being Devarim, that Moses addressed to all Israel on the other side of the Jordan, through the wilderness, in the Arabah, near Su, between Paran and Tophel, Laban, Hatzerith, and Dizahav. I hope you know where that is. <laughs> it is 11 days from Horish to Kabresh Barnea by the Mount Seir route. It is with the 40th year on the first day of the 11th month that Moses addressed the Israelites in accordance with the instructions that Adonai had given Moses for them. And then it continues on, as I mentioned, with recounting the events that have happened in the four books prior. We continue, though, beyond our words of Torah by having our Torah in our midst. We recognize that there are those who are in need of healing of body, of spirit, those who are experiencing continued oppression and are in need of our healing, doing the work to create change. I invite you at this time to share the names aloud of anyone who you're thinking of who's in need of a prayer for healing. And if you're joining us on Zoom, I encourage you to put them in the chat. We'll include those names as best we can as well. If you're here in the room, I invite you to share the name aloud as I glance around. Crow. And any other names that I may have missed. For all of those who are in need of that blessing, we join in the words of Misha Barach together, page 253. Misha healing to them soon, body and soul. Misha Perach Avoteinu Misha May each of them know the full healing of body and spirit, and may we know the renewed courage we need to be able to support all of them on that journey. Together we say. Amen. It's my honor to invite up Rani and Carol Tice to help us with the lifting and dressing of the Torah as we begin to prepare for returning it. 
We join together for the blessings for this moment of lifting Torah, page 252. Please rise in body or spirit. Bezot ha-Torah asher samoshe Lifnei b'nei Yisrael al-pi Adonai Be'yad Moshe Beautiful. Thank you so much, Tar and Carol and Rani, for that. You may be seated. We'll continue now with our reading from the Haftarah. And Rani, I'll be back up with you in a moment if you're good sitting there. Awesome. Beautiful. Um, and so we're going to be hearing from Isaiah. Um, you'll hear me talk about a little bit more about this Haftarah in just a few moments after we finish the Torah service. Um, but it's my honor to invite forward Connie Rock, who's going to be offering us the Haftarah blessings. You can find those on page 254, and I should give you the page numbers for the Haftarah. Thank you so much, Toby, for reminding me. The Haftarah, if you are following along in that classic plout, It'll be on page 1,591, continuing over to 1,592. If you are in the newer plout, it's page 1,181 and 2. Uh, we're going to be reading from verses 1 of Isaiah chapter 1, verses 7 through 17. If you're on Zoom with us, uh, I'm very grateful to Jamie and Molly, who are going to be putting a link to the Safaria page with those verses uh, on there, and then I'm also very excited that Jim Dawson is going to be reading for us in English once we hear the blessing. All righty, and without further ado. All right. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bachar Ben Vim Tovim Veratsa Vidivrehem Hane Emarim Behemet Baruch atah Adonai Abokher Batora Uv Moshe Abdo Uv Yisrael Amo Unvin Vie Ha Emet Vatsedek. Your land is desolate, your cities burnt down. Strangers consume your land before your eyes. It is desolation like Sodom overthrown. Only fair Zion is left. She is like a booth in a vineyard, like a hut in a cucumber field, like a city under siege. Had not the God of heaven's host left us a remnant, we should have already been like Sodom. We should have seen like Gomorrah. Hear the word of the eternal, you rulers of Sodom. Listen to the teaching of our God, you people of Gomorrah. What are your many offers, sacrifices to me, says the Eternal One. I am sated with the rams you bring as burnt offerings, with the fat of your fine animals. I take no delight in the blood of bulls or lambs or goats. When you come to seek my presence, who asks this of you to trample my courts? Bring me no more futile offerings. Incense is an abomination to me, new moon and Sabbath, the calling of assemblies. I cannot endure festivities along with evil. I hate your new moons, your festival days. They are a burden to me. I can hear them no more. When you stretch out your hands, I will avert my eyes from you. However much you pray, I will not listen. While your hands are filled with blood, Wash, wash yourselves, cleanse yourselves, put your evil doings away from my sight, cease to do evil. 
learn to do good, seek justice, relieve the oppressed, uphold the orphan's rights, take up the widow's cause. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Sur Kul HaOlamim Sadiq Bechol Hadarot HaEl HaNeheman HaOmer Beose Hamdaber Um Kayem Shekol Devarav Amet Vat Sedek Al HaTorah Veal ha'avoda, veal hanvim, veal yom ha'shabat haze, shenatata lanu, Adonai Eloheinu, likdusha limnucha, lechavod ultifaret, al hakol, Adonai Eloheinu, anaknu modim lak, Umvarchim o tak, yet virachim kabifiko kai, tamid leolam vaed, barukata adonai, me kahadesh hashabat. Amen. Yashar kochachem, thank you both very much for helping lead us to the Haftara. Please rise as we return the Torah to the Ark. You can find Eitz Chaim on page 256. something beautiful that Rani just said to me about lifting Torah. He said that every time he lifts Torah, it feels as though Torah is also lifting him up as well. Isn't that beautiful? And that, you know, hopefully is what our Torah means to us. And yet, as we read our Haftarah today, I don't know how many of you felt uplifted. Because <laughs> we are in a series of Haftarot that's about to end and then begin a new series. We're in the ending of our series of Haftarot of Rebuke. You might have figured that out from reading what we read for the Haftarah. So I'm going to talk a little bit today about exactly that, about this series of Haftarot, because I find it so interesting. As we move from this Shabbat into the next one, we'll have Tisha B'Av, our Jewish day of mourning in between, um, a day that we mourn the destruction of the temple as well as many other events that mythologically or historically happened on that day, or we attribute them to happening on that day. This Shabbat has a special name. Shabbat Chazon, the Shabbat of vision. Now it's not Lirot, it's not Shabbat of seeing, which is the word we commonly think of when we think about vision and sight. No, this is a prophetic vision, and it's not a very good one from what we've read already. We are being told by Isaiah in no uncertain terms that we need to get our act together. So after this Shabbat, we'll move into our Shabbats of Consolation, starting next week with Shabbat Nachamu. Exactly. Maybe Carol even chanted for us. Um, and that will hopefully offer us some consolation in the seven weeks leading up to the High Holy Days. We get these Parshiot, these Haftarot, that don't connect to the Torah portion itself like our other Haftarot throughout the year do, 
but rather are set aside separately to be something unique to prepare us for the high holy day season. First rebuke, then consolation, then repentance, then repair, and finally with Sukkot, rebuilding. The cycle of the Jewish year on its face makes a ton of sense. Now, how many of you are fans of Black Sabbath? Anybody in the room? <laughs> I see the Marin students kind of being like, I don't know. About <laughs> well, they stole their name, whether they knew it or not, from this Shabbat. This Shabbat in Jewish tradition is known as the Black Sabbath because it is that Shabbat directly prior to Tisha B'Av. It's Isaiah's prophecy of rebuke predicting the destruction of the first temple, the siege of Jerusalem, and the saddest Shabbat of the year, according to our rabbinic ancestors, as opposed to White Sabbath, which is the Shabbat Shuva, the Shabbat between the High Holy Days. So we can talk about that another time. Now, again, you saw these verses as Jim beautifully read for us from Isaiah. There are few passages that I believe are more blazing in religious literature than this chapter of Isaiah, this great chazon, this great vision that he shares. It's more than great literature. It expresses a prophetic truth. As Rabbi Jonathan Sachs said, it shares with us this prophetic truth that a society cannot flourish without honesty and justice. <laughs> I'm just going to go home now. I feel like that's... <laughs> what could not be more truer to our time? The Talmud states that when we leave this life and arrive in the world to come, as Sachs explains, the first question will be asked is not a conventionally religious one. Most people would say that we're going to get asked as soon as we get to those heavenly whatevers, did you set aside enough time for learning Torah? But that's not the question that we're taught from the Talmud that's going to be asked. But rather, did you act the emunah? Did you act honestly, trustworthily, in your everyday business dealings. Not about your religious practice, not whether you believe in God or not. Did you act truthfully and honestly in your day-to-day -day business? How are the rabbis so certain that this is the question that we're going to get asked? Death is, after all, the undiscovered country from whose born no traveler returns. We return to Isaiah. See how the faithful city has become a harlot, Isaiah says. She once was full of justice and righteousness, used to dwell in her, but now murderers, your silver has become dross, your choice wine diluted with water, your rulers are rebels and companions and thieves. They all love bribes and chase after gifts. They do not defend the cause of the fatherless, the widow. It does not come before them even. The fate of the Israelite people in Jerusalem was sealed not by their religious failings, but by their failure to act honestly and with communal respect and intention. They engaged in business practices that were highly profitable, but hard to detect. As we hear from Isaiah, they mixed silver with baser metals, they, were, they diluted their wine. People were concerned about maximizing profits indifferent to how others would suffer. Their political system had become corrupt as well. Politicians using their office and influence to their personal advantage. And I'm not talking about today, I'm still talking about Isaiah. <laughs> people knew about this, they suspected this, and Isaiah does not claim to be telling the people something different than what they knew, neither do I. He does not expect to surprise the listeners. The fact that people had come to expect no better from their leaders, I'm going to say that again, just so we really catch it. The fact that people had come to expect no better from their leaders was itself the mark of moral decline. That's our teaching from Isaiah this Shabbat. 
the widespread dishonesty and corruption that saps the morale of the society, making us cynical, opening up divisions between the rich and powerful and the poor and powerless, those who have been oppressed historically and societally. It erodes the fabric of who we are. It makes people wonder why we should even make our own sacrifices for the sake of the common good if everyone else, especially our leaders, seem bent on personal advantage. My friends, we live in a time of illness in our country. What Isaiah saw and said quite, quite clear, clearly is sometimes that organized religion is not the solution, but itself part of the problem. We think that we can atone for our sins and those of society by perhaps coming to Yom Kippur services, <laughs> by praying. But, as we heard today from Isaiah, few things would make God angrier. The multitude of your sacrifices, what are they to me, says Adonai. When you come before me, who's asked this of you? This trampling of my court, stop bringing meaningless offerings. Your incense is detestable to me. I cannot bear your evil assemblies. They've become burdenous to me. I am weary of bearing them when you spread out your hands in prayer. I will hide my eyes from you, even if you offer many prayers. I will not listen. Oof. We see why we need the consolation. The corrupt not only believe that they can fool us as their fellow, fellow human beings, but that they can fool something bigger than ourselves, all of community, all of the earth, history, they believe they can fool that as well. The sages said, Adam behul al mamono. Roughly translated. Money makes us do wild things. <laughs> Our ancestors knew that even then. People come to believe that they're leading a charmed life, that luck is with them, that will never fail. Some even believe that they can bribe the divine to look away. And oftentimes, the people who suffer most are the ones who deserve it the least. So this Shabbat, I actually wanted to offer you not just Isaiah's voice, but the voices of modern prophets, the voices of people of our time also struggling with this. Towards the back of the Torah booklet, you'll find the special Haftarot reading for special days. I encourage you to find the one for Yom Kippur. I really should have looked up the page number, but I forgot to. So one of you may be kind enough to share with the others. But I'm going to offer you a reinterpretation of Isaiah 57, 14 to 58, 14, typically read on Yom Kippur. You may have heard some of this a few years back during the High Holy Day season. But as we reread Isaiah today, it seems important that we not only hear it within the lens of what, how it was once shared, but through the lens of the modern prophets of our day. Anybody find that page yet? Bueller. Bueller. Somewhere around 1612. Perfect. For the classic cloud. For those of you on Safari, it's much easier. You can just search it. Isaiah 57, 14. I can also look. Did we find it? You don't? Yeah, let me, let me see if I can find it too. Special Hafter wrote, special Hafter wrote. Hafter off for Hanukkah, Hafter off for Sukkot, Hafter off for Shabbat Shuvah, and here we go. Hafter off for. It skips it. Well, apologies. You'll just have to stick with my interpretation. <laughs> Perfect. So if you do want to follow along, it is in the High Holy Day Machzor, um, but I'm going to offer you my own interpretation, a combination of my own translation, and again, as I mentioned, direct quotes from prophets of our modern day. The divine speaks, build up a highway, clear a road now, remove all obstacles that are scattered on the pathways of all humankind. I've struck you, people of earth, 
I've turned away from you in my wrath. Because you, you follow the way of your hearts. We have become discouraged about the injustice that we see everywhere. But God, God did not promise us that the world would be humane and just. God gives us the gift of life and allows us to choose the way we will use our limited time on earth. We are deeply and properly bewildered. Human rights are being violated on every continent. More people are oppressed than are free. How can we not be sensitive to their plight? Human suffering anywhere concerns people everywhere. Ours is a time of almost daily astonishment over the latest degradations of what matters most to civilized, visionary people. We scream into the void of our doom scrolls with our full voice, without any restraint. We wail and cry out like the sound of the shofar. And when we fasted, did you not see? When we were starved during your fast day, did you not take notice? Because you fast due to your own strife. Your fast is not one to make your voice heard. It's not what you think I want. It is what you think I want, but it's a day for people to starve their bodies. I saw your fast, but I've also seen you. You sat by while your highest leaders have spoken racist words, hate, have put down the rights of all genders and sexes, and mock those with different abilities. Neutrality helps the oppressor, never the victim. Silence only encourages the tormentor, never the tormented. The history of progress is written in the blood of people who have dared to espouse an unpopular cause as, for instance, the black man's right to his body, woman's right to her soul. The work is ongoing. Racist and anti-racist are not fixed identities. We can be racist one minute and say something anti-racist the next. What we say about race, what we do about race in each moment determines what, not who, we are. This is the fast that I desire, says Isaiah. Actively pursue freedom. Actively pursue equality for the oppressed. Work at the food pantries, help feed the hungry, build the shelters for the homeless, protect the bodies of those who are wrongly attacked and killed in the street because of their skin color, honor the pronouns, sexuality, and gender identities, and gender expressions of all peoples, amplify the voices that have been stamped out by years of intentional, systematic oppression, actively dismantle the fascist, racist, biased systems wherever, whenever they occur. People of color don't need to twist themselves into knots trying to navigate us as painlessly as possible. It is our responsibility as white individuals to be less fragile. Get over the fear of facing the worst in yourself. You should instead fear your unexamined racism. Fear the thought that right now you could be contributing to the oppressions of others and you do not even know it. Do not fear those who bring that oppression to light. Do not fear the opportunity, the opportunity to do better. And most importantly, do not lose heart. I urge you, I ask you, amidst the news and doom scrolls, do not lose hope. Look out over the prow. There are millions of boats, of souls like ours, hoping to do the right thing on the waters with you. Do not grow overwhelmed by all that is unmended and needs fixing. Don't feel weakened by all the sadness and brokenness that feels too far beyond our reach. Do not lose heart. Ours is not the task of fixing the entire world, all at once, certainly, but of stretching out to mend the part of the world that is within our reach. Any small, calm thing that one soul can do to help another soul, to assist with some 
portion of suffering in this world, that is what will help immensely. Then when you call out to Adonai, you'll be answered. When men share with women and all peoples the responsibility of bringing up the next generation, when our lives no longer belong to us alone, they belong to all of those who need us desperately. Then will you have honored the heritage of all of your ancestors and the generations of past, of present, and of future will be proud of you. When you have done just a handful of the small things that one soul can do to help another soul, then, then we will shine bright, even in darkness. Then our love will lift us and lift others. There's no feel-good reward at the end of this other than the knowledge that you're doing it because it's the right thing to do. You will not be congratulated for it. You will not get any cookies for it. You will not have a special award or ceremony. You have to learn to wean yourself off of the addiction of that instant gratification. Instead, develop a consciousness for doing what is right even and especially if you're never thanked for it. The most powerful action you can take to intervene in our stormy world, says kind of Isaiah, is to stand up and show your soul. On this Shabbat of vision, I ask you all, how do we re react to our rebuke from Isaiah? These words still so important today as they were 27 centuries ago when they were originally supposedly spoken. 2,700 years. Long time. These words are still important. How will we return to a community of trust as a people, as a country? How will we raise up the idea of communal love, communal awareness, communal responsibility, as opposed to the desires of the individual? Rise up, O Israel. We need you our modern prophets. We need to listen to the voices of modern prophecy. We need both rebuke, but we also need consolation because we need that sense of hope to move forward. Then may we enter into our new year as we continue on this journey to Elul. Maybe then we can enter with a renewed focus on the lives we want to lead. Shabbat shalom. On the, on the top of page 282. <laughs> Context of the past to help us move into the future. And the best way we can do that is through remembering those who have, we have loved and who have loved us and have shared both their wisdoms and critiques from generations past so that we may continue to pass them forward into the future. 
If you're thinking of someone today, I want you to hold them in their heart now. If they are going to be someone that you are remembering, first I'll offer our own communal list of those we are mourning, and I'll offer us time after that to share names. If you are joining us on Zoom, I invite you to put them in the chat so that those names may also be included. We're in the period of Shiva, the seven days of mourning, for Millie Loeb, mother of Hillary Loeb, mother-in-law of Mark Friedman, and grandmother of Joe Friedman. We're in the period of Shloshim for Charles Crickman, father of Rachel Crickman and father-in-law of Stephanie Cooper, grandfather of Zephyr and Zachary Cooper. In Shloshim, we also are acknowledging the loss of Herbert Rich, father of Jennifer Jersick, father-in-law of Lou Jersick, and grandfather of Dylan and Chess Jersick, as well as Ray Glassman, mother of Deborah Glassman, mother-in-law of Ian London, and grandmother of Naomi, Pamela, Ethan, and Melissa. Our community is also acknowledging the following York sites. Edgar Baer, Marshall Joseph Dick, Francesco Di Giovanni, Jack French, Anita Greenstein, Jack Kapnick, Moisey Kissen, Robert Kutcher, Jerome Lipnick, Louis Mallon, Daniel McGrain Conaway, Rhoda Mittenberg, Marcel Reisman, Allison Rose, William Rose, Dave Shilton, Lee Silver, Marvin Sloman, Elizabeth Smith, Mark Andy Smith, Joseph Soifer, Anders Spiro, Betty Sussman, Stephen Weiss, Elmer Williams, Bertha Winnett, Lillian Wittenberg, Fred Widow, and Susan Gross Slotnick. We add to those names, all of those that we are thinking about in our community, please share their name aloud or in your heart if there's been any names missed or that you would like to add or have been mispronounced. We hold all of those names in our hearts as we turn to page 294. If you're in the period of Shiva, Shloshim, or in the first year of mourning, I invite you to rise. If you are observing a yurt site this Shabbat, I invite you to rise. And I invite you to rise and body your spirit, if it is your custom, as one community to support all of those who are mourning and all of those who are in grief, as we join together on page 294 of the Mourner's Kaddish. Yit Kadal, Yit Kadash, Ne Rabah, Ve'alma Divra Hirote, Ve'amlich Malchute, Ve'chayechon Uv'yomechon, Uvchaye de Hobet Yisrael, Vagala Uvizman Kariv ve Imru, Amen. Yehe Shme Rabah Mivorach Leolam Ome Omaya. Yit Barach ve Yish Tabach, ve Yit Paar, ve Yit Romam, ve Yit Nase. Yit Hadar, ve Yit Ale, ve Yit Halal, Shme de Kurisha, Brihu. Le Elam in Kol Birchata ve Shirata. Tushbecha ta venechemata, the Amiran bealma vimru, amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shemaya, the Chaim alenu ve al kol Yisrael vimru, amen. Use shalom vimromav, hu ya ase shalom, alenu ve al kol Yisrael, ve al kol yoshve tevel, vimru, amen. You may be seated. May their memories continue and always be for a blessing. 
We take a moment in our service also to acknowledge that we are standing on land of indigenous communities. We acknowledge this land of the Duwamish tribe as a community of Temple Beth Am. We are working on continuing to build our own relationships to indigenous communities in the area, learning how we can better support, serve them, and are grateful for all that they can teach us as part of this ongoing journey and relationship we contribute to the uh, all Indians of All Nations Fund and our continuing conversations with them as well. So, it's time for Kiddush and Motsi. Who'd like to help me out? Anybody? You want to help me with some Kiddush and Motsi? You want to get drink some grape juice? You want to do some Motsi back there? Anybody? No pressure. <laughs> I'm going to go get it. And if somebody shows up up here, great. <laughs> Thank you, Jan. <laughs> uh, it's a little tricky to try to sing and eat challah at the same time, so that's part of why we like to do this. Thank you. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, Carol's going to lead us in Vishamra first. Perfect. You can I like here. the Wendy Marcus uh, drinking song, Vishamra. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Vishamra. Vishamra van Israel, et ha-shabbat, la sot et ha-shabbat, let Doro Tom Brito Lam Behini Uvein Bene Israel Otile Ola Behini Uvein Bene Israel Otile Ola Kisheshet Yamin Asalonai Etashamayim Shabbat Shabbat Elohim if you'd make that a kosher blessing for us, amen. And then Carol, if you would do the honors with the gala. Yes, either put your arms around someone, elbows, whatever feels right. We join together for our motzi. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, hamotzi lechem in haaretz. Thank you so much for making that a kosher blessing. Beautiful. We join together on 321 as we sing the words of Adon Olam before we head out to our wonderful potluck together. We need help with the quiche, so come on and join us. If you're at home and aren't too far away, come on over. If you're not able to come over, we hope you enjoy whatever meal you're, you're having together. Adon Olam, page 321. Adon Olam, Asher Malach, Beterem Kol, Yetzir Nivra, Le'et Nasa, Le'et Nasa, Bechep Sokol, Azai Melech Shemo Nikra, Adon Olam, Be'achare Kichlot Hakol, Levado Yimloch Nora, Adon Olam, Vehu Haya, Vehu Hove, Behu ye beti fara adon o. Repeat after me. Adon olam. Adon olam. Asher malach. Asher malach. Beterem kol. Beterem kol. Yitzir nivra. Yitzir nivra. Le'et nasa. Bechev sokol. Azai melech shemo nikra adon olam. Third verse. Behu echad. Ve'en sheni. Leham shilo lehach vira adon olam. Beli reishit. Veli tachlit, velo haoz vehamisra adon olam, adon olam, asher malach, beterem kol, yetzir nivra, le'et nasa, bechev sokol, azai melech shemo nikra adon olam, vehu eli, vechai goali, vetsur chevli be'et sara adon olam, Behu nisi, umanosli, menat kosi beyom ekra, adon olam, adon olam, asher malach, beterem kol, yetzir nivra, 
לעת נשא, וחפשו so כל. אז אימלך שמו נקרא אדון עולם, last verse, בידו אפקיד רוחי, ועת תישן ואירא אדון עולם, ואם רוחי גביעתי, אדוני לי ולא אירא אדון עולם, אדון עולם, אשר מלך, וטרם כל, יציר נברא, ועת נשא. וחפ סוכל, אזי מלך שמו נקרא אדון עולם. Thank you to all of you who participated in Shabbat services this morning. Thank you to Taran who already had to leave, but thank you to Rani for being our shamish. We can bring our prayer books back to him to help. And thank you to Jamie and Molly for making sure we can be both seen and heard. Shabbat Shalom.